Hello, and welcome to another edition of Spotlighting Paradise. I'm your host, Henry White. Actually, we have an Inside the Actor studio version of Spotlighting Paradise with filmmaker and current NCTV producer of the year and an NCTV awardee of the production grants that uh, they just gave out. My guest is Benjamin Bradley Gilbert. Welcome. Hi, Henry. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually very excited about this for a couple of reasons. One is, um, one is we've been trying to make this happen for quite some time now, but it seemed like every time we've had this <laughs> thing scheduled, either uh, there was a snow or weather event, yeah. and I think one time you had finals. I so. did. Yeah. <laughs> so finally we're here, yeah. and uh, we're making it happen. I'm so glad good. I'm here. Absolutely, me too. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot to talk about. I'm excited to let the folks out there know some of the great work you're doing in, in the community here around filmmaking and video production and stuff like that. Before we get into that, I, I think we'll jump right into it. I just want to get a little uh, information about you. Like, um, are you originally from Northampton here? Um, no, I, I grew up in Arlington, Massachusetts. Well, from year year zero to year two, but um, at, okay. at two years old, I moved out here to Northampton, um, and that's where I've been ever since. Okay, so you're pretty uh, much mm. uh, been in here, Northampton here, uh, mm. and you're a junior here at the high school, I Northampton am. High School. I am. Oh yeah. Mm. It's out of curiosity. What kind of uh, what's your favorite subject or subjects? Well, um, I really like writing in English. Um, I think English mostly because of the discussions that we have in class and writing um, because I, I myself like writing screenplays. I've written short stories um, and that really helps with filmmaking in general, being able to tell a story. Absolutely. It's a very helpful um, subject, a very right. helpful trade. Now, do they have that kind of um class in at Northampton High or unfortunately they don't I think they, at one point they had a creative writing class but they don't have a screenwriting class and that's something I would really like to have um, absolutely yeah. I'm sure you you'll be working on that I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if at some point that does happen and I know that NCTV and Northampton High School works very closely together yes they do uh, which is one of the reasons I, I would think that I see you here a lot <laughs> uh, yeah. which is um, it's always a pleasure when I come in you're usually here working on something and um, that's why you're probably <laughs> the producer of the year <laughs> yeah. um, so so you, 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 you grew up here and you're, um, you're a junior here, you like screenwriting and film. What got you interested in video making? Well, um, I guess watching TV. I, I have several favorite TV shows. Um, one of them is Doctor Who. I, I liked watching... The uh, Doctor Who. The, the from, Doctor okay, Who. I liked, all right. I liked watching uh, David Tennant, um, Matt Smith. They're all, they're all really great actors. And I, I kind of got inspired to write my own episode. So, um, now, how long ago was this? I mean, I might, um, uh, were you like this? I think fifth grade, I fifth think. Grade, fifth okay. grade, okay. Fifth grade, started developing my own stories. Um, I got some friends involved. We all decided to write screenplays for our own series, like an offshoot of the television show. Um, really? And I think that's really when like formatting screenplays, writing screenplays in general, not just for Doctor Who, but for my own stories, really became something I like to do. Right. Now give me an example, like some of the, like, what kind of stories were you coming up with, even at that age? Like, um, I know you're creative, but I'm yeah. trying to see what... what I think um, for my eighth grade project, I did a project on screenwriting, and I wrote a, a short skit. Um, it was probably like five minutes, ten minutes. Um, it was called... Uh, teacher teacher meeting mm -hmm. or uh, faculty meeting that's what it was called and uh, we emphasized the word cult in it because oh, really? I guess the the <laughs> plot behind the, the film was that it was it was really just like a cult um, where the teachers talked about students they didn't like and it right. was it was all satire it was all really funny um, and our teachers at Hilltown Charter School that's where I went for the first nine years of right. school um, they really liked it Did and it? I, I, I really enjoyed making that project for eighth grade um, so yeah that was, that was like the first film we did uh, besides just like playing around with cameras but absolutely um, then when I got to the high school uh, I, I kept making films we did films for certain classes like we get film assignments from um, history teacher oh here have a have a Russian Revolution project oh well I'd be like I don't really want to make a PowerPoint because that's that's boring everyone makes PowerPoints right um, so I'd get some friends together and we'd make a short film we'd we kind of take the assignment and we'd adapt it into a story or like a visual 
uh, music video and we'd, we'd create that and it was really, really fun. Wow. Welcome to the new age of uh, doing class projects. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and um, so along with that, um, you had you did some other class projects and I know you worked on something really cool, mm. which was this iPad app. Oh, yeah. Talk about that, because I, I think that's pretty cool. That's like a mm. cap under the feather. Well, I, th or I think a feather under the cap. One feather the under the cap. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, it was it was this summer or um, close to the end of last year that I, I had a, I received a phone call from an old teacher of mine at Hilltown. Um, his name is Evan, and mm -hmm. he said that his mother was developing an iPad app for children um, who were just beginning to read. So, like, I think preschool, elementary school children, um, and it was called the Reading Train. And so the the idea behind the app is that you have this animated train and each car has a letter and when you click on a letter you get to read a story that's narrated by Evan and there's music that goes along with it. Um, and so th their goal was to try and advertise this app because they wanted to make it big. They wanted to um, sell it to a lot of different uh, areas of students. Absolutely. Um, and so they, they asked me, would, would you like to make a video for us? And I said, yeah, that would be really fun. Um, and I kind of I talked to them. They, they they wanted a video that kind of showed students using the iPad app and uh, enjoying it. And I, I I tried using it myself, and it was it was very fun. Really. Um, the ideas and the, the pictures that they incorporated into it were very very cool. Wow, that yeah. is interesting. So um, yeah, I, I used some NCTV equipment. Um, we went to a house. I think it was Evan's house, and we we shot some um, footage of a lot of students from my old school. Um, I think really? they were three or four years younger than me, so I didn't really know them, but I got to know them when we were there, and we, um, we filmed them and their younger, their younger siblings, and they, they were playing with the app, and it was, it was very, very cool. Um, I'm, really, I'm really happy that I helped to produce that or to, to get it out there, because yeah. I think that they have released it since then, and it's been doing very, very well. Really? Hmm. Yeah, well, that's something you can definitely put on that um, resume. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> along <laughs> with a lot of other things, but that is awesome. Mm. Yeah, now how long did it take? Was that a, was it a long process? Or? Yeah, um, I, was, I was only kind of part of the production for about mm -hmm. a week or so, maybe two weeks. Um, the first day I brought in the equipment, we shot the footage. Um, I think we, we met a few times after that. I, mm -hmm. I met with Evan, I taught him how to use Premiere. We, we downloaded Premiere on his computer um, and I kind of, I gave him the, the basics, I told him what to do, how to make cuts, and how to edit the video in the way that he would like it. We, uh, we synced up the music. Um, we had some screenshots from the iPad app to go along with the children using it. Now, how, how old are you again doing oh. all of this? Uh, well, well, I'm I, like, <laughs> like sitting here like, okay, wait a minute here. <laughs> how old are you, period? I, I'm 17 You're right 17. now. 17, okay. I, I was 16 when we did that, but um, wow. yeah, I turned 17 this December. Which is wow. Very, yeah. Okay, so you were 16 working on this yeah. this app. Mm -hmm. I guess I shouldn't be surprised at this. <laughs> Again, it's just amazing to me. So, so that's done. And let's talk about some of your influences. I know okay. you talked about the Doctor Who series yeah. and and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. But growing up, you and when I met with you, I had a great time talking to you. Mm -hmm. I think we met at the Haymarket market yeah. and just kind of vibe like that. It's, I, and um, you talked about like Alfred Hitchcock and mm. Neil Simon. And yeah. Talk about your influences on, because it seems like they have mm -hmm. an impact on how you create your videos or yeah. how you direct. Well, I feel like my, my influences are always changing. Um, I, I might learn about, I might watch a movie that was directed by Christopher Nolan, for instance, I've, I'm mm. a really big fan of the, Nolan, um, oh, the, Batman's? the Batman trilogy okay, and yeah, Inception okay. and The Prestige. <laughs> and um, all those movies are really great. They're great um, mind-bending films. And so I, I'll watch something like that and I'll be like, hey, that was like a really cool shot what they did there, that, that storyline. Um, how, how, how did they pull that off? And I'll take one of a, a film that I'm working on, a project that I'm working mm -hmm. on, and I'll try and recreate maybe just a shot from that. So I think that's really an influence. Um, Another another thing I could talk about would be Neil Simon, for instance. Like you said, um, in eighth grade, I did a project on screenwriting, and Neil Simon was one of the writers that I analyzed. And he's a he's a great comedy writer. He right. um, he's written so many plays, so many screenplays, um, stage plays as well. And uh, 
Yeah, just just working with him, taking his his com comical el elements and applying them to my my writing and um, borrowing or adapting bits that he's done or making my own that are completely genuine, um, but are just kind of. Uh, in the back of my mind, I've been inspired by him. Um, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this, because now mm -hmm. we're talking about influences and mm -hmm. directors now. I'm a movie buff myself, yeah. I love movies. And uh, so, like, who are some of your favorite actors? Like, I'll give you a couple mm -hmm. of mine. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. I, love him. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. It's been out a long time, Dog Day Afternoon. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. I don't He's think I have. one of his best uh, performances, I think, of all times. But Al Pacino is one of my favorite mm -hmm. actors, along with Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. Zell. Who are some of your favorite actors? Like, if you're watching a mm -hmm. movie, what, who's a good actor or actress to you? Well, um, I just I just took uh, film studies with Stephen Eldridge at the high school, and we've been watching mm. a lot of great films. I especially like um, Anthony Perkins. Oh, he's, okay. he's very yes. good. Um, I should have known that. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. He's good. Dustin Hoffman's good. Dustin we, Hoffman's we watched really Tootsie in, um, in a film class like maybe a, a year ago we watched that film um who else uh janet lay okay. we, we saw her yeah. we saw her in um i believe it is touch of evil she's in mm -hmm. that yeah that was mm -hmm. that was a really great film um it takes place on the the mexican american border um which i had just recently visited about a year ago um, right. with my uncle right. who lives there and it was just it was a really great film it was a horror film it was like a murder mystery wow um, so it was a very, very great film. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, I mean, all the British act actors out I, there, uh, Matt Smith, David Tennant, um, mm -hmm. all those Brits. Um, I, I got another one yeah. for you from, from my, mm -hmm. Marlon Brando. The Marlon Godfather Brando, series. yeah, he is, he's oh very good. God. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was awesome. The Godfather. I guess you can see my theme, it's drama, crime. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I do like some romantic comedies mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but for the most part. Um, talk about you're being a the the reigning Northampton Community TV producer of the year. Like, yeah. what did that mean for you? I mean, it was great. I mean, we mm. have the annual meeting here every year, mm. and um, I remember Al, as a matter of fact, talking about you mm. um, and saying uh, that he knew. You know, he was very impressed by you, by the way, and and said that he he felt like someday he'll be working for you, <laughs> because <laughs> which is a high honor coming from Al. That is a very great honor. Exactly, yeah. and and we actually had the opportunity to talk that day as mm -hmm. well, and uh, it's one of the reasons why I got inspired to actually have you on the show. I believe that's the first time you asked me, and it's been a very long time since then. I'm exactly. so glad that we're here. That's yeah. right, that's right. So it's mm. been a while in the yeah. making. But what did that mean for you to just do that? It's I mean, it, it was a surprise, and it was a very great honor. I mean, I I came to the uh, the annual meeting kind of just thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to going to see all these other NCTV producers. I'm going to get to talk to people. I had, I had no idea that they, they had an award. Um, and it was a little bit embarrassing because I, right. I, I was I was in the front row. I was like the only. I was probably the youngest person there. Um, I, actually, a few of my teachers were there, which was kind of cool. Right. Um, so I was in the front row, and there was no one sitting in the front row. So it, it almost felt like staged because I, I was sitting there, and I got I got given the, I was given the award. Um, and it was it was like very flattering. It was very honored uh, to have that to be recognized for being uh, for making so many things in the past year. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. it's almost like the, your work is being so many projects. And yeah. Absolutely. Which is, um, mm -hmm. and I'm a um, proud past mm -hmm. uh, recipient of that as well. Yeah. So I, I totally get it. And it was a shock to me. It mm -hmm. was, you know, I was surprised as well. Al doesn't tell you, you know, he just kind of makes doesn't. sure you're going to yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you, so you yeah. get it. But um, so you know, I didn't ask you. You have brothers and sisters? I do. I have a sister. Her name's Abby. Um, she's in eighth grade right now. She'll be coming to the high school next year. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is she mm. into filmmaking or um, career? No, not, not really. really. She she, no. she really okay. likes horseback riding. She um she goes uh to the Smith College um horse farm there. Oh yeah. Um, a yeah. She, she, she rides there. On. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She rides there like once a week, twice a week. Um, really. She's really into that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I didn't, I kind of mentioned that a little bit at the, uh, mm -hmm. the thing there. So now I really want to jump into the next sort of phase of this 
interview mm. here and talk about the production grant mm. um, for the folks out there. Well, why don't you tell the folks out there a little bit about what the production grants were or are about and mm. then we'll talk about what you're doing. So I know NCTV had this pot of money, thank goodness, <laughs> for creative folks in the community mm -hmm. like yourself um, yeah. to apply for, for a grant to do shorts. Mm -hmm. er, yeah, er, earlier this summer, um, NCTV offered $5,000 in total uh, for three different grants that um, they wanted to give out to local community members um, and have, have, like, have a helping hand in producing their shorts that they wanted to do. They, um, they had a $2,000 narrative grant wow. um, for anyone who anyone of any age to mm -hmm. produce a short uh, two thousand dollar narrative they had a two thousand dollar documentary grant for anyone of any age right um, and they had a third grant which was a one thousand dollar narrative or documentary for anyone under 18 right so allowing that to happen was great because it, it meant anyone of high school age or younger Absolutely. could get one thousand dollars which is an, a lot of oh, money for, for someone of my age and from anyone's <laughs> age um, right to, and to produce something like a film which up until now I've I've only been making films on like a zero dollar budget absolutely um, so having money period is just mind-blowing so yeah I, I applied for one of those grants in October um, it was a it was a little bit ambitious because we, we wanted to do something longer larger scale longer mm -hmm. time running time because um, up until now we've I think the longest film that I've made with my friends has been 20 minutes so we said we're gonna go for like 45 minutes to an hour um, and we submitted our application in October and then a month later in November um, I was notified that uh, we had received it and that was that was really cool. That was awesome. And um, to make matters even better it was uh, we not only we got the youth grant which was $1,000 mm -hmm. but um, I guess NCTV liked the grant so much that they um, they upgraded it to $2,000 um, they That's thought that it had the potential to be very cool but right. it just needed that much more money to um, wow. to be successful so you didn't just get a a G you got two G's yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah very excited we've been um, we've been working on that uh, for a very long time since the summer, we started writing the screenplay in the summer. We submitted the screenplay along with the okay, application. Okay, hold it right there. That's what I want to start mm -hmm. talking about. Yeah. What's what's the screenplay? And I know you don't want to give it and spill yeah. all of the beans, mm -hmm. but at least you can give us. We're inside the actor studio mm -hmm. here, spotlighting paradise right here at Northampton Community TV. We real, we want the exclusive mm -hmm. here on. All right. What this screenplay? What this film mm -hmm. short is going to be about well um I, when we set off to write it we were like we want to do something plausible like we don't want to have to deal with special effects or green screen we want to write something about people and people we can relate to so we, we chose good. students because everyone i'm working with is a student absolutely um, your peers yeah yeah All right we can uh we can take aspects of my friends or they can take aspects of me and we we kind of wrote this story around um I think five students who are attempting to complete a short film. Mm -hmm. um, so our, our film is the film within a film. Wow, um, that's pretty cool. That's something that's really easily related to because um, I, I make films for school, um, my friends make films for school, mm -hmm. we knew what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And some, one thing that uh, we constantly find ourselves running into is deadlines. We, um, we run out of time. We're trying right. to put so much work into being really creative mm -hmm. that sometimes we forget about the uh, the main point of the f the project, or we forget that oh no, we only have a day to do this, and yet we want to put so much work into this and make this the best thing possible. Absolutely. Um, so we're always constrained by time limits. Um, so that's actually the the name of the film. It's called Deadline. Cause, really? Um, okay. There there's several meanings behind the name, but um, the one I'll talk about right now is mm -hmm. yeah, the 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 students and them trying to complete their project by a certain time right yeah and their their video project yes it's, it is a film it, it yeah. is a film and that's something that I'm, I'm really wow. excited about because uh, yeah. just being able to work with film within a film related material is is cool in its own self but um, just being able to kind of talk about what the process that I go through when I make a film, mm -hmm. but telling it through the eyes of characters that I've written Absolutely. is very cool. That does yeah. sound really cool. And yeah. I know you guys have um, not, you, you, you've done the mm -hmm. screenwriting mm -hmm. uh, and you have actually started 
the production of it. You started shooting it. Yeah, we, we, we uh, began principal photography at the beginning of the February break, so about a week ago we started. Um, that was really How exciting. How exciting was that? It was very exciting. I can imagine. Um, we've been building up to this for so long that just like actually turning on the camera, wow. getting our first shot, that was, that was really cool. Um, we've been shooting at all these different locations that um, normally without the grant or without the ambition that we have in this project we never would have gone to. Right, um, right. We, we shot at the on-call urgent care office um, in Northampton, it might be in Florence, but um, we shot there. Yeah. That was our hospital interior. Um, wow. You'll have to watch the film to find out why we were shooting in a right, hospital. Right, exactly. but, um, And they just opened the door. Yeah, and they, they, they were so nice. You gotta love Northampton, yeah. right? Gotta they love just, Northampton. Exactly. Yeah. We, we called them up. We were, we were looking, mm -hmm. our, um, we would talk to Cooley Dickinson. They fell through as a location, so we, we called up on call. Um, on the first ring, they, they answered, and I, I was like, hey, I'd like to film a short film and use your space as an interior for a hospital. And they're like, yeah, go for no it, come, come by. And I, right. I walked over, like, within an hour, I talked to them, and they were just like, go for it, we'll see you on the weekend. Wow, that's yeah, pretty cool. It was very cool. Now, yeah. let me, I need to back up just for a second, mm -hmm. because I think you, did you do a um, crew call or a casting call? We did, or we did. Like Talk about that. Oh, yeah, we I um, almost showed up. <laughs> you, you should have, you should have. Yeah. But it, well, um, I guess part of the goal of the film was I wanted to mm -hmm. work with people I had never worked with before because mm -hmm. up until now I've been working with friends and friends are great, but I, I not only wanted to include my friends in the project, I also wanted to include people I had never met so right. we could have this kind of unexpected element to the project, something Absolutely. something new, something um, on uncharted waters we right. wanted to enter. Um, so, so did a lot of people show oh up? Oh yeah, we um, we made a ton of posters, we went to two different schools, we went to Northampton, because that's where I'm from, mm -hmm. and we went to PVPA, which is where my um, co-director Josh Flannery is from, Okay. and uh, we, we kind of sought out a bunch of actors, we got maybe 30 people in total um, showed up, we were looking for about seven students, um, and we, we got a really great crop, we found at least two for every character we wanted, uh, and then we had the hard time of narrowing it down to the, the exact person that we wanted. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that must have been fun too. Like yeah. this, now I'm thinking, mm -hmm. did you guys like have that table set up? Oh yeah, we, we had the table, the table set up. You know? And just calling people in and have mm -hmm. them like read a line and stuff? Oh, uh, we, we had them read several lines actually. Really? Yeah, they, they, they brought in a monologue. Um, for, some of the, for some parts of the auditions, um, we did have parts that they could read. Um, for others, we didn't. Um, it depended on, I think, by the time we had the NHS auditions, we had more of a developed script. We right. had something that we were we felt yeah, better about kind of uh, releasing. It, exactly. You know? um, and then we, we also, what was even more exciting than the students was um, getting to work with adults. Right. So we, um, we kind of fell through on this. We were going to hold the adult auditions here, um, but then they had fire drill testing in the building, so we, we kind of were really desperate. We were looking for a place to hold these auditions, and we went with North Star yeah, in Amherst. Yeah, in Amherst, or, um, yeah, 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 at a cool school out yeah, there. Yeah, a very yeah, cool school. Yeah. And uh, we, we showed up there, they were very nice. Um, we rented out the building, and we had wow. all of our adult actors come in. Um, we gave them various portions of the script. We yeah. had them read that. Um, we found, I think within, we, we only had one day of casting, and we found everyone we needed except for like three people who we then brought back for a second audition, which we held here. Wow, yeah, that's pretty neat. Now, um, mm. not only are you, for the folks out there, mm. he's not only a filmmaker, but you're also an, an editor. I mean, you can also yeah. edit, and you've been gracious enough to be able to not only talk about what you're working mm. on today, but to actually provide some visuals or some clips of uh, what mm. you're talking about now. So you folks out there, um, and you may want to talk about just briefly, like mm -hmm. um, a clip that that you yeah. that we're talking about now. Um, well, let's see. I, the very first scene we shot was, um, well, I guess the the very second scene we shot was um, in at on call, and we shot in their hospital room, mm -hmm. which we were really excited about. Um, we had my my very own teacher, Stephen Eldridge, uh, was playing really? the father of one of our characters, who is um, <laughs> he's had a heart attack and he's in bed, and then the son, who is the student, comes in. And he's talking to his father. It was a very emotional scene. Um, we were able to shoot it within four hours at on call. Uh, wow. they, they were so polite and so generous to have us there. Um, nice. And so, yeah, we, we, we played with the lighting a lot. We were in this very cramped room. It was a very mm. dark room. Um, and so for the first time, we had all these lights um, inside the room, but then 
uh, we, we shot three different scenes and so each scene kind of takes place at a different portion part of the film mm -hmm. and by the end we're nearing the um, we're nearing the end of a life and we lit the scene so like emotionally we, we turned off all the lights except for the x-ray um, light where right, they hang exactly. up the x-rays and uh, it looked it looked so good. Oh, I I'm, I'm very excited to show you guys. Yeah. I think we'll probably show them a clip at some point. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it does sound mm -hmm. like uh, an amazing project, and I give you um, a lot of credit on thank you on yeah. not only applying for the grant but actually putting it to good use. Um, mm -hmm. And now, when is your project due to be completed? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. um, NCTV wants it by June fifteenth of uh, this year. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got. A fair amount of time before Absolutely. it's done. I think our, our plan for now was uh, we were going to shoot on the two school breaks because mm -hmm. the majority of our cast are students and so the breaks and because they're from two different schools the really the only time that we can coordinate is on weekends and breaks right. and we wanted to just knock out as many scenes as possible Absolutely. so having those breaks has been very helpful. Um, so yeah I think our goal is to try and finish by the end of April, finish shooting everything right. and then I've been editing as we've been going Absolutely. along, uh, yeah. trying to keep up with the workflow. Um, and that doesn't surprise me yeah. at all. <laughs> it's been very fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, just so folks out there know, mm -hmm. and they don't have to, you don't have to wait to this pro for this project to be completed. You do have a YouTube uh, channel yeah. with other some of your other work. Um, and what's that YouTube channel? If they wanted to. Um, well, if you, if you just Google my name, Benjamin Bradley Gilbert, you'll probably find it. It's going to probably be the first one up there. But um, I think the new, the URL is uh, new Doctor Who, and then the number one. New so. Doctor Who number one, and so search it, Google them, and be on the lookout for this uh, short. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say by the fall of this year. Yes. We're, we're, we're He'll probably be rolling it out. Well, thanks again, uh, Benjamin, for, for stopping by and uh, giving us some insight into your creativity and your mind in this. Let me, I got to ask you a question. You think I got a shot in a cameo? Oh, can yeah. I get a cameo you or can something? Get a cameo. Maybe not this one, but, yeah. you know, anything, just let me, hit me up. I think, you got I think my number, right? We'll have to talk about that. I exactly. Think, I, think might have I, I need a cameo yeah. or something. But um, before, before I wrap up, totally, I just, again, want to thank you um, Ben for coming by. As always, I want to thank the staff and the volunteers and interns here at NCTV. You guys rock. You guys make us look good here. And we appreciate all the help you give us. If you have any comments for this show or you want to give some feedback, feel free. It's uh, spotlightingparadise at gmail.com. Or you can always come to the Northampton Community TV website, which is NorthamptonCommunityTV.org. I will leave you with this. A man sooner or later discovers that he is the master gardener of his soul, the director of his life. And that is actually from a movie director, James Allen. Until next time on Spotlighting Paradise, peace and blessings, and keep the faith.